Past a couple of almost siphons, a couple of small jumps. Uh, and now we are in the spectacular turquoise hallway in the heat of the Sierra de Guara. <laughs> Planning a canyoneering trip to Spain is actually a lot easier than you might expect. Spain has hundreds, maybe even thousands of canyons. This video will look at canyons in the northeast in Huesca. These are arguably some of the best canyons in Spain with some of the bluest water of any canyons anywhere. This is the canyon of Rio Vero. And this is one of many, 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 many jumps. <laughs> <laughs> and now we swim. We swim to the sunshine. Let's go. Let's go. Canyons in general have many wide open parts, but occasionally do slot up, much like Utah, but with flowing water. Occasionally they do slot up pretty tight, and you want to make sure you're going to fit through before you commit to anything, as there is flowing water. Sometimes the canyons do go almost completely dark and large passes under boulder fields. And my favorite, Siphon. This is, Kat, this is a barranco called Formiga. This is our first Siphon. We have to go under this rock. Oh. That was fun. 2-8 turn, 2-8, come on. Okay, let's do it. Oh. We just passed that. <laughs> we use the website RopeWiki to decide where the canyons are, what canyons we want to do, and get all the better we need. So here, let's pick a canyon. Let's do Oscuros del Balsas. This canyon is called Oscuros del Balsas. It's the dark part of the Balsas River. Look at how narrow this is. Wiki will give you all the info you need. You can start by clicking on the map and then you can see the whole route including the approach, the descent, and then the exit. You can also download this to your GPS app on your phone. As we scroll down the page you can see everything like the number of rappels, the time, the length of the biggest rappel, it'll describe the approach, hopefully give photos of the descent, and then the exit. And You can also see better from other sites at the bottom of the page. RopeWiki is excellent for planning your canyoneering trip. It's another long swim. It's easiest and probably cheapest to just stay in a campground. If we search the area on Google Maps, you can see that there's a bunch of campgrounds around. There's probably even more that'll show up on here when it's summer season. Absolutely, the only way to do canyoneering in Spain is to rent a car. You can rent a car for around $40 a day, depending on your insurance, out of Barcelona. The jump we just did was so high that the chin strap on my helmet broke. Uh, I think it's okay because we're almost done. You can see we're in like this, this massive overhang grotto type thing of just like the bluest water. <laughs> 